Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on how to configure SPF, DKAM, and DMARC records for your HubSpot email marketing. Answering this record are correctly set up will help you protect your emails from being blocked or marked as spam. Oh, I just received a nice email. They say we can get 100 leads per day. That's amazing. Maybe not everyone should set this record correctly, but I'm sure you aren't one of them. Are you? Anyway, let's get back to the video. Here, we will check why you need to set up this record, how to find them inside of spots, and how to add them to your domain provider. We will add this record to Namecheap or Squarespace as an example. Now, let's dive in. As we said, this records prevent your email to land in spam. Think of SPF as a bouncer for your email. It tells the receiving email server which IP addresses or servers are authorized to send email on behalf of your domain. Then DKAM is the guest list. It allows the receiving server to verify that the email was actually sent by you. And finally, DMARC is your secret service. It's an extra layer of validation that helps monitor and enforce the policies defined by SPF and DKAM. Now you know why you need these records, let's try to find them inside HubSpot. So go to your HubSpot, go to your settings, then you go to content, domain and URLs. And here you can click on connect a domain, select email sending, connect. And now you need to add your email sending. So for example, I will add contact at hublit.io. Next. Next. And here you have your DKM records and the SPF records. So for DMARC records, don't worry, I put them inside the description of this video. And DMARC stands for Domain Based Message Authentication Reporting and Conformance. It's absolutely useless to know, but I'm really sure that you wanted to impress your friends tonight, so don't thank me. Now, get back to the video. We will implement this record inside Namecheap, then Squarespace. So now you're logged on Namecheap. You can go to your domain, click on Advanced DNS, and here you can add new records. And here you need to add your so DKM record, SPF record, and DMARC record. I click on Add New Record. For DKIM record, it should be this record. Add a new record, name records, and you do the same with the second record. Add new record, and now you have to add the SPF record. It should be TXT record here. And for the DMARC record, it should be also a TXT record, and you can click on Save All Changes. So on Squarespace, click on DNS, Add Records, add the DKIM record. Now we added the DKIM record. Then you add SPF. So you click on save. And DMARC, it's also a TXT record and you can just click and pass this one. With your record setup, you're now good to go. You can go back to the marketing team and shine and show them what this SPF is or DKIM. No, I think they don't care, but they would be really happy to have that inside of Spot. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to receive more like this. Thanks for your time. Bye.